Today we're exploring a place that's been too often forgotten. Welcome to Manzanar National Historic Site. So these military relocation centers hold a really special place in your life because my uh, my grandmother was uh, held at one with her family uh, when she was a little girl. In fact, your great uncle was the last baby to be born inside one of the camps. That's true. Sports really played a vital role in the lives of those who were relocated here during World War II. They even uh, fought their own baseball make life a little bit more livable here. Many people played sports including basketball, baseball, football, and they even made beautiful Japanese gardens with pools and waterfalls. While they were relocated here, this exact spot was where they built one of the most beautiful Japanese gardens. You can still see where the water would flow through the pool. One hundred and forty-six Japanese Americans lost their lives during their time at Manzanar. However, only five are still buried here. While many people were eager to leave, some refused to go. After being uprooted from their homes and forcibly placed here, they had no place to go, and they were only offered $25 and a one-way bus or train ticket. So once again, they were forcibly removed, but this time from Manzanar. It's amazing that most of the structures are long gone here. Yeah, but it's important to remember what happened here. Located 230 miles north of Los Angeles, the Manzanar National Historic Site preserves the legacy of those Japanese Americans who were held here during World War II. Thanks for joining me on this important tour. And for more information, visit my blog at flyingdonmarie.com. Until next time. <laughs>